What is a good Zen marriage? Good Zen marriage means only for you. Your happiness before my happiness. That's good Zen marriage. And if both parties, men and women, they share this view, it's the double helix of consummated long-term relationship. If it's asymmetrical, it starts to kind of teeter and then fall. But if we meditate together, Zen marriage means we also practice together, not just have fun or work or share the burdens, but we also practice together. So we notice our mistakes even before they happen. Or if they have happened, very quickly we correct them. Okay? So your happiness before mine, shared by both parties, that's the key. How may I help you? Mutually. It's another one. And how do we share everything? Everything. And uh, it's sometimes fantastic to disagree in this way. Because our disagreements are within this space of loving kindness and compassion and shared wisdom and common experience. Within that, it's fantastic to disagree. Conversely, when people are set apart by their own egos, even agreements can be painful. They feel like the wrong compromise. All right? If marriage karma points beyond family, you don't just serve your family, but it's more than that, then you can vent all the tension into creative energy. It doesn't stay within the nucleus of the family. Sometimes these very small families, they have no access way to larger communities many times in the West. They either wither or they blow up. So stay connected, stay selfless, stay mutually observant and practice together. Then you can help a lot of people without putting yourself into a very, very bad position. So without any false sacrifice. Selflessness and this kind of illusory sacrifice where there is a big self behind it, it's totally different. Okay? So stay on the mat, stay married, follow the great way. Thank you. You're welcome.